how to customize your WooCommerce account page with Elementor. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, we will be taking a look at how you can change your basic WooCommerce account page that your customers get into a more interactive and more customized appearance using Elementor. So let's get into it. Now, this is like a account page. This is like a sample account page that has been created automatically by WooCommerce for my WordPress website. It's rather bland and it might not fit with the overall aesthetic or theme that I'm going for for my store or business. And you can really edit this directly on the WordPress website editor but that can be a little boring for most people. So to make it more interactive and to make it more interesting, you can uh, edit it and change it as well. So to do that, you have to first off download Elementor if you don't have it already. To do that, you can just go into plugins on the left side of your screen, click on add new, and then you will simply search for Elementor. Now, Elementor is nothing, uh, you know, to be intimidated by. You just have to install it and activate it. It's a very basic website builder. It allows you to create a good, gorgeous website with, you know, a drag and drop editor that is simple to use. You don't have to uh, learn how to code. You don't have to learn complicated ways to build websites. You can use a simple drag and drop that can be really helpful for a lot of people. So I'm just connecting with my Elementor account over here. I have previously created an Elementor account. So I'm just logging in. If you have not created a uh, you know, Elementor account previously, you don't have to actually, uh, you know, worry about that. You can create a Elementor account easily uh, with your email address. That's all you need and you just register. It's not a paid application. Elementor is free to use for anyone. So once you have installed the application, you want to go back into your, uh, you know, onto your WordPress website dashboard and you will be able to see Elementor over here. So what are the post types, what it can do. Now, you might be wondering, hey, when I opened up Elementor, it showed, you know, it was creating a new page with Elementor. I want to edit my WooCommerce uh, account page that my customers are going to see. Well, don't worry. To access those pages with Elementor, simply click on pages over here on your WordPress dashboard on the left side. Then you will be able to name, you know, see the page that you have. So you have your my account page. Now you have editing options uh, with each specific page. It says edit with Elementor, your checkout page, your basic pages. So you can click on edit over here. And this will open up the page. And once you do that, you can click on edit with Elementor to move to the Elementor website editor instead of editing with the basic one. So just to recap, if it doesn't show edit with Elementor directly, you just have your my account page like this. You're going to click on edit. And once you click on edit, you will click on edit with Elementor. And in this way, you can open any kind of WooCommerce page with Elementor. So now you guys can see I have a simple little drag and drop. It says my account. Maybe below that I want to enter, you know, sections or something. So I'm going to take a look at the different options I have. So let's say I want to bring WooCommerce integrations. I can also do that. But to integrate WooCommerce integrations into Elementor, you do have to upgrade to the pro version of Elementor. But let's say I want to add some general images first up in my account section. So let's say I have a progress bar and then I want to add the title of Buy now, save more. I can go on ahead and change that, and this will provide information. And the percentage would be added. You can hide the percentage if you want, and you can add the inner text. So you can add anything like this. You can click on advanced over here to change the layout, depending on the type of content you want. I think I don't like this placement for this, so I might add it on another page. But let's say I want to add um, account information. So I'm, uh, I'm going to create a heading, drag and drop it over here, create a account information. Below that, you can add those text fields. So you can click on text paths over here. I think I'm going to go with WooCommerce and then you have 
uh, product stock, product images, you have product information, but I want to add account information. So I want to integrate author box or WordPress pages. So I would integrate the information for that specific account over here. Uh, you can leave a inner section over here and you can later on add that information as you go. Uh, for all of your customers, you're just going to copy a code and enter a short code box where people will be able to see their own specific information. Now, below that, let's say in my account section, I want to add a couple of images to make it look more interesting. So I can go into basic. I can first add a divider and then I'm going to make it like this. I want it to be doubled or squared, however you want it to be. Then after that, I will just click on update, then go back and go on ahead and add more items. So I am going to add, I'm going to scroll down and I can go into the WordPress section and I can drop images over here. And then I can click on apply, click on add image and any of the image files I've uploaded to WordPress can be inserted over here. And you can really customize this page however you like. Now, once you have completed your customization, you can even go into global edits and this will allow you to have a cohesive theme on your entire website. So for that, you do have to upgrade to a premium version of Elementor, but with uh, Elementor, if you just want to edit one website, it only starts at 59 USD and you do get a lot of value out of this. You are going to be able to do a lot of different things with this as well. And if you want to change any part of your website, like the header, footer, you can also edit those with Elementor if you upgrade to the premium version. Now you can also edit, you know, the UI theme, which is basically the user preference and change that according to your specific um, customer preferences as well, depending on the type of website you have. And once all of this is completed, simply click on update on the bottom left. Once you click on update, your new account page for your website, for your WooCommerce website or for your WordPress website will be created and you will be able to now see all of these changes made to your page. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with customizing your WooCommerce pages with Elementor. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detail platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so i hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if i missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and i will catch you guys in the next video